my name is E.K. Morrison. Well, Aaron Cape, but most people just call me E.K. Morrison. I am from Maine. Um, what were some of the things that you were struggling with the most before you joined my team here at Body HD Fitness and started working with me? Um, so before I found you, I had lost some weight myself, but I was just plateauing. Um, I was vegan and I couldn't understand if I am strictly, you know, essentially eating plants and, you know, fruits and vegetables and, you know, and some other uh, some protein, like why I'm not losing the weight anymore. Um, I was really overweight as average nine pounds. Um, and so I was able to get about 30, 35 pounds off. And then I found you, um, I think it was in March of 2021. And at that point I was almost 280 or so, like 275, 280. So. And what made you wanted to lose weight in, in the beginning? So for me, I had just realized that I, I played college basketball. Um, I always enjoyed working out. Um, I got really big when I uh, had a child and I was right around my pregnancy weight. Um, I mean, I remember the date, it was August 8th, 2020. I went in for a wellness check finally and I weighed 309. Um, I gave birth to my daughter uh, in 2014 and I weighed 308. So it was just like, okay, you're 40 next year. What, what are you doing? You got to get this in check. Um, it wasn't the example I wanted to set for her. Um, I knew based on my family um, health history that I would get diabetes. I would probably have heart problems. There was all kinds of chronic diseases that I was going to get if I continued down this path. So I need, knew I needed to get the weight off. Um, and I just, you know, was doing some stuff, like I said, by myself. And then I just was plateauing and I couldn't, I couldn't get to that next level. And, and were you experiencing any type of health issues or your blood work was all optimal before you started or? Um, I was pre-diabetic. Um, I think my blood pressure was a little high, but they like I was right in that like red zone, right? Where they're just kind of, well, I guess maybe it's like that yellow, right? Or yellow orangey, right? Where they're not like, we're going to prescribe medication, but it was like, okay, we, we hear what you're saying you're going to do. So let's come back in a couple months and check and make sure. And if I hadn't done anything, then they probably were going to look to put me on medications. Um, so I definitely was in that danger zone. Um, I had problems with my knees because there was too much weight on it, uh, lower back pain. Um, um, so some physical ailments as well, just because there's so much weight on my body. And what made you choose uh, working with Body HD Fitness and myself? Um, specifically at the time, I felt like I liked, I always liked, I always think that like a woman should have a shape and, and be strong. Um, and so I didn't want to be super skinny. Um, so I, I, since I'd gotten some weight off, I felt good about how I looked, but I just knew that there were like targeted areas and kind of the, the old school thinking. I was like, well, it's just going to be cardio. I got to step up my cardio. And you had a video that talked about steady state cardio, right? So it was like, come at steady state cardio and I'll reach out. And, and that's exactly what I did. Cause like the way you were talking about it, because in my mind, I was like, I don't think I can run like I used to run in my 20s. Mm. It's going to kill my knees. This is going to be counterproductive. And then the way you were talking about it, I was like, well, let me see what this is about. And then that just that just started it. Um, I liked that you, you know, you're no nonsense, right? You are very real. Um, and I'm that same way. I don't need to be coddled. Um, of course, you might think different. You might be like, there were some times, EK. I don't know. You know, like there were definitely some times where I have my moments. But for the most part, it's it's very straightforward. If I had any questions, like I just felt like I connected with you, and that's what I think people have to understand too. That like a coach can give you a program. You need to make sure that they really connect with you, and the the classes, just everything that you do, you genuinely care about people, and you teach people that this isn't just like a here you go, I can get the weight off for you. And you know, good luck when you're done my program, you know, kick rocks. Like you genuinely care about people's well being. You want to teach them and educate them. So this isn't just a, hey, you worked with me for 16 weeks or we worked together for a couple of years, right? Like it's, you give them the tools so they can be successful after they are, you know, done working with you or things like that. And that's, which I didn't know at the time, obviously, right? I just signed up for the 16 week. And then it's like, oh shoot, okay, let's go again. Then it's like, okay, let's sign up for a year. Okay, let's do, you know, then it just became this snowball effect of with all the stuff because I, you took me down a path I never thought was possible. Mm. I never envisioned that I would be here or that I would do, I told you I would cry or that I would like get on stage in a bedazzled bikini and strut around, mm -hmm. right? That I would love that 
that feeling that I would want to do that and, and find that so empowering, right? That I would change careers and focus in on helping friends and family and other women do what I've done. Like you did all of that for me. To be a part of that community where it's people understand it, it's respectful. I think sometimes people think that like bodybuilders are, they think of them a certain way and they just really focus and care about their body and they want other people to be healthy and work out too. And we understand like, what that takes, you know, and it's a, it's a tight knit community. It's a very welcoming community. Um, and so that transformation, as soon as I stepped out there and people were just cheering, it was emotional. Um, and that's when I thought, okay, how far can I take my body? How far can I do this? Like, what can I make myself look like? This is incredible. And look at these women and this is what they've done. I can do this. And they're, they're telling me that I did what they could never imagine doing. Right. Like at that point, did we hit, we hit the hundred pound mark. I think it was like 120 or 130. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think at the most we've done, well, a couple of weeks ago, we got close to that 150, I think. Yeah. Um, total 100, I mean, so it's like another person, right? Like what's some of the accolades that you received as well, what you learned, like how much weight did you lose? The Some of the wins that you received from that and uh, what you learned overall. Yeah. So. Um, some of the, well, what I've learned is really understanding the broad spectrum that is the vegan community. Um, understanding for me, I identify probably more as a plant-based vegan um, and just the importance of nutrition, um, the, the easiness and empowerment that comes with being able to count macros so that it doesn't matter the social situation or what you're planning for or what life, what happens in life, you can live that life and you just keep track of your macros, right? It's, it's super easy. Um, the education piece um, has just been huge in understanding um, how the nutrients can work for your body, how you compare things together. Again, understanding, you know, that the vegan community, how our food is processed. Um, so it went beyond just, you know, awesome workouts too, right? I didn't know what a triple drop set was. Like, I didn't know what some of these other things were, right? And then I learned quick though, okay? <laughs> I learned quick uh, what those were. Um, but, you know, just like to challenge me mentally um, and physically, which then ultimately led to like those emotional challenges too, right? Like I didn't know how mentally tough I was. And that's why, you know, the person I am now um, is completely different than the person, and I'm sure you could advocate for that too, like that you met you know, in 2021, like three years ago, right? It's not, it's not the same person. Um, and you help guide me through all of that um, by, you know, physically making me strong, but that also made me emotionally and mentally strong. So um, I did probably like half a dozen shows or whatever, I'm looking at the stuff now. So um, my first show I ever did was Transformation and I won that. Um, I won Transformation at the Vegan Expo in Fort Lauderdale. Mm -hmm. um, and then I did the Shamrock Classic for two years in New Hampshire. I think that, and I would get a variety of, I think the first year I did it, I got like a fifth and a fourth. I usually competed in like open. Um, when I was first doing it, I could compete in debut. Um, and then, um, yeah, I think the closest I've ever come is second. I never got a first. Um, still don't have the pro card. Well, first uh, at, the, at the transformations. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, transformation, yes, sorry. But in like figure, so I compete in figure. Mm -hmm. um, but I've never gotten a first in figure yet. Um, I still don't have my pro card yet. Um, so those are those are still, you know, goals that I have for myself. Um, so, so we'll see. But yeah, I mean, I have a variety of, anywhere from fifth to second places. And, you know, as I got more experience, then I was consistently seeing like the thirds and the seconds and stuff like that, regardless of how many people are in the category. Um, so that was always, that was always, you know, empowering and made me feel good. And how, how much weight did you lose overall? And can you talk a little bit on the process? Because it wasn't just like a straight weight loss journey in three years. Oh, it was like, right. you did a lot of stuff, right? So yeah. can you just talk about that for people who's listening? So I think at the most, um, I think we definitely got like close to 146, but it might've even been like that closer to 150 pounds mm -hmm. total. Um, the first 16 weeks with you, we got close, it was 58 pounds, because I remember your height is 60 and I was pissed that I didn't do it. Mm -hmm. um, so we got that off and then we just, like I said, when we did transformation, we had about 120, 130 off. 
um, after, I think that was the first summer that we like carb cycled and reverse dieted, which for me at that point, I was like, oh shoot, I can eat. And I kind of went a little, you know, it got a little excessive. Um, but I loved how I was, um, felt strong in the gym um, and, and gained a lot of muscle that way. Um, and then when we started to cut again, um, so basically it was like the summers was when I was able to bulk. Um, last summer I did take that as like the wrong kind of bulk and I think I just got a little bit big and that made this, this cut um, more challenging for me. Um, but, uh, but understanding the process itself, um, you know, I would handle it differently now. Um, I wouldn't just be like a free for all, like, okay, I can great, uh, you know, I can eat and I can do this stuff or have some beverages, um, which is in my mindset now anyway, so it'd be easier, but, um, but still it's, uh, it's again, and this is what plays into the mental toughness, right? Where you're used to seeing yourself as a, this really big person, you lose a bunch of weight, you feel strong, you feel great. And everybody else notices that and then starts to compliment you and wants to be involved more with like, what are you doing and engaged with you? And you're like, well, I'm still the same person just a smaller size and then when you're reverse dieting right like you're getting a little bit bulky and i remember there are times i'd be like no i'm getting fat and you're like no you're not like trust me this is okay because it is it's, it's a lot of psychological and i don't think people really get that absolutely that, that's great to hear and uh and i'm super happy about that as well but that's something that i definitely try to educate a lot of, of the clients or students that comes within the program is to have sustainable results and be able to do it on their own. And even even yesterday, I had a, a previous student just like tag me. He's like, I'm cutting, thanks for Corinne. And, and I'm like, at first I'm like looking like, he's not in the program. And now I'm like, oh yeah, like that's what I do. You know, <laughs> and so it's like, and, and I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. You know, and, and, it, and I like seeing those things because it shows like, every like even and, and he looked fine like he didn't he wasn't like overweight or nothing but he he just wanted to cut back and and take control because he took a little break from training or whatever and now he wants to get back on it and he's doing it all on his own like he's not he's just tagging me to, to say like thank you you know because without without you i wouldn't even know what to do and he's doing his own thing and and that's why i really try to do i know that's something that uh, you know, a lot of coaches won't agree with, especially when it comes to business, because they feel like, well, you know, you just made like, uh, you just c cut off like, some type of money tie that could come back to you. I'm like, yeah, but if we're nutritionists and we're health and fitness coaches, like, isn't the point is to teach these people how to have a better lifestyle and have the same old results. So wouldn't it be better to give them all the information that we know so they can do this on their own, you know? And, um, and that's what I try to do because I feel like if I have someone like like um, the individual that tagged me or like yourself going around and there's people that need help, like you're definitely either going to do it, you know, help them yourself or you're going to be like, hey, I got a guy who can do Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Well, and that's the thing too. I mean, like you inspired me to, you know, I am a certified personal trainer. I am a certified nutritionist now. You inspired all of that right? Like you inspired me to make the career, you know, the career change and to, you know, to, to confidently do this and, and to be okay to be like, yeah, I'm bringing my own food. Like now it's not an issue, right? That first year or so it was kind of, it was kind of weird and people expected it or people would be like, well, what are you going to eat? And it's like, I'm here to socialize with you. You're my family. I don't need to eat your turkey or eat this other stuff. Like I'm just here, you know? Um, and that's, I mean, yeah, like you, you, you inspire people, you know, it's, like I said, this whole experience is not what I anticipated or expected. And it's, it's been unbelievable. Right. And it's just like, and I remember saying to two family, and this is probably even before I had like got with you that it was, you know, Oh, I need to lose this weight and, I, and I'll probably lose a significant amount. And so many people being like, well, that, you know, well, good luck doing that, you know? And then, it, then it became like a, well, okay. Yeah. I, I will lose over a hundred pounds. If that's what you're saying, how much I need to lose. Great. Like I remember getting, my life insurance right and at the time i was close to 300 pounds and i said so when i lose a bunch of weight will that change because obviously like i'm at a higher risk for these different things and he's like well i guess so but people usually don't lose that much weight and it's like i did so <laughs> if someone's watching this video and they're on the fence about joining joining the program or working with uh, body hc fitness and my team like uh, what what would you tell them to, to do it don't worry about the money. You figure out how to do it. You figure out how to do it. The time I signed with you, public educator, I was making probably 
rural Maine. So maybe, I think at the time I was actually making less than $40,000 as a single mom and I made it work, right? So it's just like, when you want something that badly, you will figure out how to do it, right? Like different things that I've learned. I can't remember, I think you've used one of these analogies too, right? Somebody, like they show this like beautiful mansion or this beautiful car. And it's like, how much do you think this is worth? And it's like, oh, it's 5 million, it's 4 million, 2.7 million, blah, 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 blah. And someone's like, no, I'm gonna give it to you for $10,000 but you got 24 hours to come up with $10,000. You'd come up with $10,000. So the, the, you know, the reality is if I ended up following the footsteps, well, my dad died, I would die 13 years from now. My dad died when he was 56, um, was diabetic, um, had heart problems. Um, my mom has heart problems, like all these other things. Like I would be spending long-term it's cheaper to work with you than it is to have to pay for medications and doctor visits and co-pays and all the other stuff, right? Like that's what I think people overlook. They, they Sometimes I think people initially be like, whoa, well, wait a minute, that's, this is how much it costs. And it's like, but let's break down how much you're paying on medications or what you could pay long-term. 10 years, right? There was like, even for just diabetes, right? So it's like 10 years, it's close to $9,000. Or you can work with a coach for $1,000, $1,500, $900, like whatever the, whatever the rate may be, right? Like, seems like a no brainer to me. And especially if the coach is going to give you the tools to be successful after you're done working with them, 